and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to discuss a feature of the SOLIDWORKS PDM History Dialog. The History Dialog provides an audit of actions on a selected file where you can view things like version and workflow history. This can be useful for compliance purposes like FDA where you need to see where files have been or what they've been through. You can retrieve a History Dialog if you right-click a document in a PDM file vault and select History. The History Dialog has many components, but today I'll focus on one function, the Rollback command. Rollback is permission managed, so the user performing a rollback will need to have the appropriate permission assigned by the PDM admin. The required permission in order to execute a rollback is located within the Admin tool on the Folder Permissions tab of the User or Group Settings. This can be set globally for the entire vault, or you can get more granular and assign rollback permission for specific folders in the file vault. So what exactly does the rollback operation do? It gives you the ability to undo file history or revert back to an older version by discarding any subsequent versions of a file from the vault. Along with the versions, rollback will also permanently remove any intermediate revisions or workflow transitions from the file history, and will reset the revision counter to match the revision label. Rolling back a file is basically moving back to a previous state in the file history, and anything that took place after the specified version is permanently deleted, which is a potential pitfall, so if you plan to utilize rollback privileges, you'll want to be aware of this. Rollback is often used working in an R&D type environment, where you're creating versions with lots of changes. You may create versions that are no longer of use, or decide that a specific version is the version you want to move forward with. So here I have a sample file, it's been through a change, the length of the axle has been modified, and I decide that this original version has the axle length that I'd actually like to continue with. So I select the version I want, I'll click Rollback, and a nice warning dialog is displayed to remind you that this is a permanent action that cannot be reversed, so you'll want to ensure that this is your intent before you continue a rollback. There's also a comment field here, and it's always good to document any changes to files in case other users are interested in why the rollback took place. So click continue the rollback. You can only execute a rollback on one file at a time, and it doesn't roll back the reference files. So the references linked to the previous version can be recached using the get version dialog. So I'll click get, and you can see the comments displayed here in the history and it's reverted back to the previous version, and this is the version I'll proceed with. Depending on the process your files go through, rollback may be a good option for you. It's a very powerful function of the PDM software that can be beneficial when applied correctly, but understanding the ramifications is crucial to utilize it successfully and avoid issues. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We hope you're able to join us for next week's session. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.